This afternoon I'm going to be making carrot and coriander soup. There's the ingredients. That's how much a carrot's worth. And it'll all cost around about 80-90 pounds. I have some bread on the go, so we're going to be having this for supper tonight. I have to say, I really like cooking on a Sunday afternoon. It's kind of really relaxing. And I always cook with a glass of wine on a Sunday. In the afternoon, not in the evening. Because it's just such a pleasant thing to do. So that's my chicken that's in for Sunday lunch. And I'm not going to keep harping on about it. It is about carrot soup today. Um, I'm just telling you that I first started to cook it upside down. Um, try it, it makes a massive difference to the breast meat. Flip this bad girl over, put some more mustard on her. She's also got onion there and some olive oil. So it's all looking very, um, well, not really cooked, but it will be. Most of the cooking time should be done this way around, but yeah, flip your chicken. Yeah, so right, back to the carrot and coriander soup. So you peel the vegetables. I'm sure you all know how to peel vegetables. Let's push those back a little bit. Um, I really like doing this. It's much nicer to make your own soup. It tastes better. That's why I've decided to start making bread as well. It's like, life isn't really too short. <laughs> you just make bread. You can do some nice carrot soup. And it tastes so much better than this tin stuff, which is glutinous and pretty bad. Anyway, there we go. Mm. So I think I showed you in my last video, I really love garlic and this is a really good way to release all the flavours, is just to give it a good crush and you can see that the skin comes off really easily as well. You can just whip the end off, whip the end off. There we go, that's crushed garlic and we're gonna have a nice garlicky fry up in a minute. So, the next bit is to gently fry up in some olive oil that lovely crushed garlic. Yeah. And we can chop the vegetables up in a minute as well. Just get a spoon. Be very, very mindful not to um, to burn this because if you burn it, it'll give a really bitter taste to the soup. So gently just saute it in the olive oil. Mm -hmm. right I think I shall pour some water on there. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? The bed. <laughs> Oh well, there we go. Adds to the fun. I think this pan's drunk. <laughs> Come on. Add some water. And in there we're going to put some vegetable stock and these beautiful vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I have two vegetable stocks here. I'll just have a mouthful of the wine. I'll pop that there because it's getting quite warm next to the cooker. These um, are really cheap to buy. You can get them in one of the supermarkets for about 30 pence. <laughs> As you can see, I've got my husband helping me with the camera. I just don't think he trusts me anymore and he'll pop things or knives. <laughs> and just stir that in. And then you just leave that to boil up um, and uh, we can at, uh, halfway through we can start adding uh, things like the coriander some black pepper there's some coriander seeds here and I'm going to get the mortar and pestle out in fact we can film that now and just get some in there oh there's quite a lot there and give them a bit of a grind okay Grind up those coriander seeds. Oh, I wish you had smell of vision. It smells amazing. Oh dear, it's been a long weekend. Back to work tomorrow. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Smells 
look lovely. So there you have it. I've mixed up coriander leaves, coriander seeds that I ground earlier, um, black pepper, salt and ginger into here, ready to go into the soup mixture. There you go, it's looking a bit... Oh, I think of that big stir now. So you see now, I found half, a, half an onion in the freezer that I'd frozen earlier, so I just locked that in. It's always good to freeze the veg some vegetables when you've cut them up. I always put um, lemons and citrus fruit in the freezer as well, because they're just easy to pop out and put into a drink or a soft drink. It doesn't always have to be a no common drink. There's some sprouts ready to uh, steam for later. So, there's the carrot and coriander soup before we blend it. And we're going to have a go at blending now, aren't we, Shorty? Yeah. Yeah? Because <laughs> who likes carrot soup? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> So there's the soup all blended. Um, I used a blender to do this, um, but I've used a potato masher before. Um, a bit more hard work, but still you can get there. It's just your soup's a bit chunkier. And Caitlin is really looking forward to eating all this yummy soup. Anyway. You'll love to have some lovely bread, which is currently, it's currently rising in there. And we're looking forward to having some bread, aren't we, sweetie? Yes, and it's going to take one hour. One hour, almost there.